Welcome. Please tell us about yourself. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Mikael Melbris. I am a 3D graphics artist at Massive Entertainment, a Ubisoft studio. I am 30 years old and I have worked in the industry for roughly seven years now, more or less. What does a 3D artist do? A 3D artist has a core responsibility of making um, game assets and game art uh, look the way their art director uh, wants them to want it to look. Um, they have a visual agenda that they need to follow. And uh, yeah, basically just make nice. What, what other disciplines do you interact with? I usually get off my usual 3D um, modeling and um, texturing to help out with rendering, uh, high resolution rendering, pre-rendered cutscenes, um, a bit amount of uh, animation also. Do you work with cutscenes? Yeah, I am uh, a part of the cinematic team at uh, Massive. I work with both pre-rendered and in-game cutscenes. What projects have you worked on so far? I started out with uh, World in Conflict and uh, later on to World in Conflict Soviet Assault and then on to Assassin's Creed and uh, now I'm working with Far Cry 3. Games is said to be a very rapidly changing industry. Uh, how do you keep up with that? Usually by visiting websites a lot and following like lectures and uh, but most information I get from company emails. We get a lot of email spamming at Massive. Has your uh, your own uh, work changed a lot during uh, uh, when you worked? Yeah, it does. It it it, have, it has changed a lot actually. And personally, I have had troubles keeping up with all the progress. But I try to focus on one point and then slowly progress uh, in my own pace to keep up with. What would you say the best part of your job is? Releasing a title. That is, the, nothing beats that. That is a feeling that is amazing. I love it. Uh, what inspired you to get into game development? Uh, games. In, uh, yeah. I, I love the media games. I, it's, it's a fantastic way of storytelling, uh, competitive play. It's just the whole game thing, you know. Any particular games you played as young? Oof. I play them all. I would like to think uh, one game that uh, really got me fired up about the whole game industry was Super Mario 64, because that was my my every kid loved Super Mario. He was like their the first superhero of video games, and when he took the step into the 3D realm. For me, that was like, wow, that was a whole new world. I, I was so, I was so psyched about it. How did you get your first job in the industry? I, I went to a school called uh, School of uh, School of Future Entertainment in Karlsson, Sweden. I uh, progressed as an intern at Massive, where I afterwards got my employment. Now that you work with games, is it like you expected? No, it's not. It's uh, working with games and playing games are two different worlds, actually. Uh, it's not it, a bit a bit of uh, things uh, about the work I, I did expect, but later on I realized that this is uh, nothing as I would have imagined pre pre hand. So what was different? Uh, the amount of time it takes to create a level which you let's say you play a level for two minutes let's say you do a speed run and when you develop that same level instead of that two minutes you get those two weeks so it takes time and it takes effort and it takes concentration also so do you have any advice for people who want to get into the game industry or work with games be a team player First and foremost, uh, teamwork is uh, the essence of a, of a really good uh, team. Smaller team, a bigger team, doesn't matter. You have to be a good team player. And I think that being a good team player 
comes hand in hand with being, a, let's say, a great artist, because those two together combined are like a wonderful fusion of a, a, a game artist. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.